Hi guys, Ollie here from And The Sky Darkened. Uh, just dropping in today to show you all around my home studio for you to see how we recorded the latest EP, Between Ghosts. Uh, for those of you that didn't already know, we recorded, mixed and released the EP entirely by ourselves, which was a lot of work, but we're pretty proud of what we were able to achieve overall. Um, we've had some great feedback from you all about the quality of the production, which is great to hear. We just thought that we'd show you all a bit more about how we went about it all. Um, I'm just going to show you guys some of the gear that was crucial in terms of recording the guitar parts anyway. Okay, so I think uh, the natural place for me to start as a guitarist would be on the guitars that I used for this EP. So I think at the start of this one, this is the main uh, kind of rhythm guitar that I would use. So this is my PRS. CE24, completely standard, um, no no mods or anything like that, just a uh, straight up great guitar every time I plug it in, it just sounds great off the bat. Um, I do think that for the Dark and the Wait I might have used this on some of the rhythm tracks, so this is my Chapman ML3 Modern. Uh, this has had some upgrades, uh, hip chop hardware, and the uh, Seymour Duncan Alpha Amiga pickups. Um, I think that's pretty much all I used in terms of guitars on the EP. I think the next most important thing to show you guys would be the Line 6 Helix. So, this is a pretty essential part of our recording hardware. Um, all guitars and Jimmy's bass were all rec recorded through Helix. I think so. Um, basically used as a USB interface to the computer, so we went straight into this, into the Mac. We did record everything um, on DI guitars, so like direct in without any kind of processing from Helix. Um, so it was all done through Helix in the computer afterwards, um, so just dry guitar sounds recorded. Um, so I guess that takes us on to the next bit then, which we would be... It's the Apple Mac book, so Ryan and I both use these, I mean, everyone knows about them. Um, but I think people would be surprised, potentially, that we're actually running everything in GarageBand at the moment as opposed to Logic. I do have Logic myself, but um, yes, just for the sake of ease, we just kept kept going with garage bands. That's what we're familiar with from our first EP. Um, so I'm running with some Mackie Studio monitors. Um, pretty standard, nothing special. we got some Audio-Technica. These are the uh, these are the M40X and I've got some M50X just like to have two sets of headphones really so that we can cross reference I think it's a big part of a uh, big important part of when you are mixing and mastering is to be able to cross reference your sounds with different speakers and listening devices rather than just just relying on the studio monitors gives you a better overall sound um, or idea of what it'll sound like on different different systems in the end of the, the as a final product. Um, I've got like, lots of other ways of recording, but I mean, for the sake of this, we don't need to go into that. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So I mean, yes, the guitar is straight into Helix as the USB interface into GarageBand as the digital audio workstation. DAW and yeah I think everything then put in on what's known as Helix Native so it's like Line 6's computer based software um, it's effectively just everything as in the, the Line 6 Helix floor but straight into the computer and done it that way so yeah hope that was uh, interesting to some of you at least anyway So thanks guys for watching, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below, uh, we really do appreciate all of your support, so yeah, thanks, till next time.